Welcome back to the Toyota Owners 400 from Richmond on Fox. There's about a 40 minute, minute hole in the clouds here, so taking advantage of a little bit of sunshine, what's left of it, and a track that is almost dry and ready to go. Let's dial up our pole sitter. Drivers, start go! Damp track, wet weather tires. What will we see for 400 laps in Richmond? Let's find out. Green flag. You can see them all just going into that corner, feeling it out, then going. Larson did not baby it in there. Elliott right to his outside. Once the lead takes it. Three, four wide back there. And NASCAR has told the teams that they will be putting slick tires on at the competition caution, that this will be declared a dry race. And there's the caution. Whew. Take a breath and we'll take a break. We got 30 laps in. Yeah, Kyle is struggling with the handling in his race car wasn't good in the wet weather and not very good in the dry either continues to go back to oh barry into suarez how about this he, is he gonna almost he saved, saved it. it almost wow good spot back around good spot back around you can see him lift out of the gas he's pretty high up on the corner this unfortunately got in the back of him you're in trouble Kevin. here we go stage in just hold on <laughs> <laughs> Kyle Larson gets his third stage win of 2024. Started sixth, his second best of the year. Tight through the center, free off, but he kept it in the top five for most of this race, Regan. Bubba Wallace, this run has been too free into the corners, too tight center. We saw him lose a few spots early on, and that was his biggest complaint. Well, Martin Truex Jr. cycles back to the lead. Now, when all this started, he was six tenths of a second back. Truex was to Kyle Larson when pit stops began. Well, now it's going to flop. Now uh, Martin Truex is going to be running slower, and Larson is going to is going to run this run out. What we believe all the way all the way to the end, and we see Alex Bowman on pit road with pit crew hopping around. But I think that the pace is there. Certainly, Cliff Daniels thought the pace was there. Caution! I'll tell you what's there is a caution. Caution at lap 170, and this is the third caution of the night. And Kyle Busch bounced off the wall. We're waiting on word from NASCAR, but that may be the reason for the caution. Way up out of the groove, you seem heading north. Man, it's almost like a, a brake issue or maybe a right front down, Kevin. Yeah, the car definitely went straight. And, and not a right front. Oh, it's definitely not down. Well. It was one thing's for sure. The day wasn't going very good, and the night is getting worse. 194 laps complete. Martin Truex now 1.2 ahead of Josh Berry, the only driver in the top five who does not yet have a Richmond win. Berry running right where he was a year and where he finished a year ago. Final lap, stage two. Here they come to the line. Bowman with a head of steam on the outside. Ah, that was so close. I don't think Truex yeah. I think <laughs> Truex was ahead of him, but barely. NASCAR will review that. He knows how strong that car is. He, he can get him a lap down. I'm going for absolutely. it. Absolutely. You yeah. want to pin you want to pin him a lap down. And how close was it with Alex Bowman? Here they are at the line. There is the photo showing that Bowman was indeed the first car one lap down. So he will get the wave around. Well, this is the this is the guy that they gave control of the race to, and they have not relinquished control of that race since uh, that strategy played out in the first stage with Martin Truex Jr. That leaves Christopher Bell out on the racetrack, along with Suarez, Blaney, and Sindrick. The three of those cars a lap down. Chastain finishing up, so Bell is the leader under the previous yellow about when to make this stop. Crew Chief Adam Stevens said he did not want to do it too soon because he'd pay the price on the backside of the run. As for the car right now, just a little bit too loose for Christopher Bell. Well, we see the, the battle for the lead heating up, and I, I think... Oh, Christopher Bell, too fast exiting pit road. Well, we talked earlier, Clint, minimize the mistakes. This is a very difficult pit road. 
It's very easy to get too much, be too low in the corners or whatever that that may be, but it has bit Christopher Bell. In a big way, this is a bad place to have a mistake this late in a race. Larson right on his tail. And Logano. And, this and is, Wallace. This is what, what makes or break the, or yes, the race right here. This pit stop getting on and off pit road. Jamie? In the 19 of Martin Shurex Jr. and Joey Logano both in their pit boxes. Martin happy as he has been all race long. Joey Logano firing off a little too tight. Another air pressure adjustment. Regan. Bubba Wallace looking for his first career top 10 at uh, at Richmond right now. There's no more comments on the break shake. He's been very focused and the five of Kyle Larson has not said a word since the caution way back at the end of the last stage. He's zoned in right now. So Denny Hamlin leads for the first time today. With just 63 laps to go. Look at this boys. Kyle Larson got him in the pits. That's exactly what we were talking about there. Here's the race off pit road down around the corner from where we are on the front straightaway. Oh, pushed him out. Truex had to lift. I don't necessarily think he had him beat. He crowded him. Well, you got to do what you got to do to put yourself in position to win. And Kyle Larson knew that. So Christopher Bell cycles through to the lead. Truex and Larson. Uh, uh, Denny Hamlin ran a little extra long. I mean, I know it's only a handful of laps, but it seemed to make a big, pretty big difference the last time when he got his lap back. Gillen's got good pace. Now Truex gets right. to his back bumper. Turning. He moves. Bumble Trouble Wallace. runs straight away. Larson. Caution is out. Oh, Bubba Wallace got the back goodness. of Larson right there. And that changes everything. It sure does. With two laps to go, and Truex more than half a lap away from taking the white flag after which the next flag would end the race. We have a caution and we will reset for overtime. Well let's unpack this Clint. Watch this. Kyle Larson gets spun out right. Obviously got loose and gets spun saves the car mind you gets the thing straightened back up only loses to a couple spots comes back sixth. Now watch this pit area. See he gets it gathered up keeps it straight only loses a couple spots because they were that far ahead pit road uh, opens he gains two spots goes right back to the very position the guy that spins him out has trouble on pit road he is now 16th Bubba Wallace holy cow.